parents always speak English. I just advise parents, stay with my own son or my own daughter. It's not going to be possible because of the environment my daughter or my son found himself. It's Good. Like people will always tell you that uh, you are empty. The empty simply means the mother tongue. And what is the mother tongue language we're talking about here? The mother tongue language simply means the first language that a child acquires. So, how does a child acquire a language to be the mother tongue? Uh, a child could be of parents of Hausa. Your parents could be an Hausa parents or Yoruba language parents. But uh, funny enough, the environment that child found himself definitely affects his empty. Okay, so when a child was a child that was born, for example, in America, you don't expect that child to speak Hausa language because he wasn't born in Hausa land. Even when the parents are Hausas or Yorubas, as the case may be, because the environment the child found himself definitely affects the language, the mother tongue. So you you, you don't you, 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 when, when they come back home and begin to say, oh, you want to speak the language, your own language, your, your own language you speak with your child, it will, it will, it will not, the child will not flow with you because of the environment that child found himself. You understand? Many of us today have that kind of problem. For example, let me take my case, myself as a case study. I happen to marry an Igbo woman. I am from River State. We speak Kana in River State, okay? As an Ogoni man, we speak Kana. And my wife speaks evil language. So you can see that these children are in between evil language, Yoruba language, I mean, uh, Ogoni language, as well as English. So what do we do? English language is the language we cannot say that is their empty, okay, their mother tongue. So for you now to come home, oh, I want to speak Ogoni with my own son or my own daughter, it's not going to be possible because of the environment my daughter or my son found himself. It's definitely not going to be possible. So what we need to understand here is this. Today we are talking about mother tongue. How do we handle it? The, 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 our education system, our curriculum system should be able to be designed in such a way that the mother tongue we have, you know, I, we, 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 we definitely paid attention to. English language should be seen as a second language. That Hausa, Yoruba, and Igbo should be the basic language that this child or these children should be first of all exposed to. But it's not going to be possible for that. It's not possible. Because this, 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 this particular person in question is not in that environment where the language is spoken. You understand? So it becomes a problem. Now, I, I want to give you an example here. I want to give you something that happened recently when I was teaching the concept in the class. You discover that Hausa language don't have the labiodenta fricative, okay? See, so they don't have the labiodenta fricative, and the child that is in, in an environment where uh, English language is taught, or English language is the first language that he or she, you know, girl used to, and you want to teach that child, okay, a labiodenta fricative. Or, for example, the child was born in Hausa, in Hausa environment. Now he's brought to a place where English is spoken. And because English is, is, is it becomes the second language now to that child, and you want to introduce that, 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 that child in the class to, to phonology or, or to phonetics. We are talking about, the, we are talking about speech sound here. We are talking about now the labial in Africa, the which is the f and the v. You know, two of them are articulated as the result of the fact that the upper teeth and the lower leaves are the articulators of this particular sound. Now you discover that. Because the Hausa language seems not to have the labial dental fricative. They have the bilabia plosive or stop, which is the per and be. Now, the, 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 this particular child or these children tends to do what? To use the what? The bilabia stop, which is the b for the labial dental fricative. <laughs> and so when you have a sentence that is written as in, I am very happy to see you today, Daddy, you are welcome. That child from Hausa background will say, I am very... So you don't need to blame the child as a result of the fact that he or she is pronouncing the word very because of his first contacts. The first contact the child had will definitely affect the second one. So the mother tongue now 
of that child is what? It's the Hausa language. But if that child was born in a place where English is spoken, and you, you are an Hausa man, and you want to begin to teach house, I mean, you speak Hausa with your, with, 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 with your son in the house, remember that your son spent quite a few time with you. He spent most of his time in the, in, in the school. So the environment, the child found himself now will definitely affect the mother tongue. So you don't need to blame any child or anybody whose you know, child is not speaking the language of his father, of his mother. Okay, which we may call the mother tongue. It is wrong for us to do that. We don't need to see from that perspective. All we need to know is that the environment this child has found himself is affecting the empty, as the case may be. My advice, my advice is to, uh, because we are talking of how our children can be able to speak our own language. Good. My advice is this. Let, let, let's, let's look at, let's take this one as a case study now, okay? Let's just, let, let, I want to give an instance. My children are not born in my own place. They are all born here in Lagos, okay? And in Lagos, in the West here, the language is Yoruba language. The school they are attending is English that is spoken. I am from Ogoni, and we speak Kana. My wife is an Igbo woman, she speaks Igbo language. Most times in the house, I tend to speak the little, even when my relations, my auntie, my uncle, my brother will say, you better teach your language, you better teach your children my own language. But how do I do it? Because all the language they are exposed to is the English language. So what we need to do, basically, is to see her, no matter how it is, to ensure that our children understand our language as in speaking it gradually to them so let them understand that english language is not their own language but the thing is this the problem here is this why it's not going to be easy is this our school system is such that english language is the language that a child must pass before he or she gains admission into university okay and it is the language of international discourse so since English language has become the language of international discourse, the, 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 the person in question, the children or the particular child in question, would not pay much attention to your own language. Realizing that your own language is not the language that he or she is using in reading, neither the language he or she is using in writing, now, neither the language for discussion among her peers. So it becomes a problem here. You understand? It is a big problem that we need to face. Well, how do we go about it? That our children must be able to do what? To understand, oh, despite what you are, you are being exposed to, remember that this is where you come from. This is your language. America, as the case may be, and Britain, we know that English language is being spoken by the British. It's owned by the British. That's how we have what we call RP. RP simply means receive pronunciation, and that is standard English. The Americans have their own version of English language. The Americans have decided to do what? To have their own way whereby English can be spoken. So we, in Nigeria, of course, we speak Pidgin English, okay? We have Pidgin English, we have the real English, okay? And English has become, the Pidgin English now has become the lingua franca, the language of communication, okay, among ourselves here. So, my own advice is that parents should, I, let their children understand the importance of their own language. Okay, it is important they know that their own language is the language they need to equally understand and be spoken as well.